material on a very demanding topic, which is estrous cycle of cow. We will also see the changes in hormones in a graph form, and at the last we will see how to estimate the time of AI in cow as well as in buffalo. So first of all we will start from the basics, that what is estrous cycle? It is a correlated phenomena of the endocrine and reproductive systems of a female mammal other than human, from the beginning of one period of estrus to the beginning of the next. Estrus cycle is divided into two phases and four stages. The two phases are as below, follicular phase and luteal phase. Each phase has two stages so there are total four stages. Follicular phase is divided into proestrus and estrus while luteal phase is divided into metestrus and the estrus stage. So, now let us quickly see some brief description of each stage of estrus cycle of cattle. Let me first tell you that to make the understanding better of the tutorial we are assuming the day of ovulation as day zero. So, on average estrus cycle of a cow is of 21 days while it ranges from 18 to 24 days. So, first of all we will see about proestrus stage which is the first stage in the estrus cycle immediately before estrus ranges from 3 to 5 days characterized by development of both the endometrium and ovarian follicles. Then came the estrus stage which is the second stage in the estrus cycle immediately before metesterus, of one day, characterized by a receptivity to a male intimating, often referred to as heat or in heat. Pheromones may also be secreted only at this stage of her cycle. Now we will talk about the metestrus. It is the third stage in the estrus cycle, which ranges from 3 to 5 days, came immediately before diestrus characterized by sexual inactivity and the formation of the corpus luteum. And then the last stage in the estrus cycle, that is of approximately 14 days, came immediately before the next cycle, proestrus characterized by a functional corpus luteum and an increase in the blood concentration of progesterone. In this slide, just make a small concept between the relationship of two hormones, progesterone and estradiol. As you can see when the estradiol increases P4 decreases and as P4 increases estradiol decreases. So, there is a negative correlation between these two hormones. Now we will see the complete hormone changes and various activities and various stages of the estrus cycle. First of all we will start with the proestrus, in which the follicular stimulating hormone came from the peachal tree gland and stimulate the follicles to recruit. As follicle size increases, estradiol hormone increases, as it is secreted by the follicles. When estradiol reaches its peak, the animal is said to be in heat and the stage is called estrus. After the estradiol attain its peak, the luteinizing hormone surge came, and ovulation occur. Now, the stage of metestrus starts. The progesterone starts secreted from corpus hemorrhagicum. After 5 to 6 days, corpus luteum matures, and diestrus start, in which P4 releases at its peak till PGF2 alpha came from endometrium to regress the CL to start a new cycle. In this slide, Observe that during P4 peak, 2 to 3 follicular waves came but, the follicle cannot achieve its mature stage due to progesterone block. This P4 block is broken by PGF2 alpha coming from the endometrium and then new cycle starts. So, let us now quickly see the summary of estrus cycle we have studied so far. Assume the day of ovulation as day zero as told you in the start of the tutorial. The CL releases P4 at its peak after five days of its formation, and this peak period is known as diestrus stage. This P4 block is removed by the PGF2 alpha or prostaglandin and released by uterus or endometrium. Then the new follicular wave start and E to attain peak. This is how cycle repeats again and again after 21 days if AI is not done. So, to understand the time of AI in animals we first have to understand the various terminologies and various concepts. The estrus stage is broken down into various segments. At zero hour, the time is known as onset of estrus. After six hours cow show primary sign of estrus known as standing estrus. After 12 hours of onset of estrus, the LH surge came and after 24 hours of LH surge, ovulation occurs. 
The lifespan of ova is 6 hours while life of sperm is 24 to 48 hours. Sperm needs 6 to 8 hours for activation or capacitation. In cow we follow AMPM rule while in buffalo we follow AMAM rule. For example if a cow came in heat at 12 a.m. then we will do AI at 12 p.m. If buffalo is in heat at 12 a.m. then we do AI on the next day at 12 a.m. This difference is due to difference between the time of the LH surge in ovulation in both species. So, dear vets, congratulations! Now you are well aware of the physiology of estrus cycle in bovines. If you do not have enough knowledge regarding hormones, you can watch the tutorial on reproductive hormones. Link is given in description. Do like subscribe and share it to other vets. Have a good day.